Hey guys, welcome. We are doing lesson 23 for phonics. So let's get busy. Let me share my screen. Let's get rid of all this stuff like normal. Okay, lesson 23 for phonics. So our learning targets, I can use adjectives to describe animals from the Green Fern Zoo. I can use a planning page, but we're not doing that. And I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, cranes and spoonbills. So grammar, our adjectives. Remember adjectives use, are words that we use to describe things. So we're gonna use a lot of adjectives to describe an animal at the Green Fern Zoo. And I want you to see if you can guess what it is. So this big fish swims near the reef and has lots of sharp teeth. What is it? Oh, it's a reef shark. And what adjectives did you hear? Big, didn't you? Yes. This animal lives in holes under the ground. What is it? It's a groundhog. What adjectives did you hear me say? It's an animal, right? This clever animal uses a stick as a tool to help it find ants to eat. Do you remember what does that? A chimp. So what adjective did you hear me say? Clever. This furry animal likes to swim and has webbed paws and sharp claws. What is it? A river otter. What adjective did you hear me say? Furry. This animal has wings and a big bill that it uses to catch fish. What is it? It's a puffin. What adjective did you hear me say? Wings and big bill. This animal has a lot, lot, a lot like a chimp, is a lot like a chimp, but has a red nose and sharp teeth. Ooh, it's a mandrel. What adjective did you hear? Sharp teeth and red nose. All right, so we're skipping that part because we're not doing the writing. Okay, so we're gonna move on through these pages here. So we're gonna read cranes and spoonbills. So I'm gonna escape out of here and I'm gonna get rid of this bar again. Let me get to the reading here. Cranes and spoonbills. Here you can see two sandhill cranes. A sandhill crane has long legs, a dark pointed bill, and a red spot next to its bill. Sandhill cranes are found in wetlands. They like to hunt for frogs, snakes, and insects. Here, oh, there's the picture of the sandhill cranes. Those are sandhill cranes too. In fact, that's a mom and a dad with their chicks. When sandhill cranes mate, they tilt their bills up and make hooting sounds. Then the mom and dad make a nest. The mom sits on the eggs for four weeks until the chicks are born. Here's the mom and dad and the chicks. Okay, now that's a spoon bill. He has the name because his bill is shaped like a spoon. The spoon bill wades in pools to get his food. He swings his bill back and forth. If he feels an insect swimming inside his bill, he snaps it shut. When spoonbills mate, they make a nest. When the chicks are born, they can't see. The mom and dad have to care for them until they can see. That's kind of scary, isn't it? There's the spoonbill, look at that bill. All right, so we'll leave it at that. 
let's go back over here to our slide. Okay, so we just read a story about two types of birds, cranes and spoonbills, and they both live near water and they stand on tall legs. We have the A sound, like make, crane, and care. Our tricky words were to, there, and because. That was one of our spelling words. We have contractions of that, shortened for that is, and can't, shortened for cannot. Two syllable words, sand hill, spoonbill, pointed, wetlands, hooting, until, swimming, and inside. Vocabulary we heard, wetlands, mate, hooting, and chicks. So we've read our story. So what do sandhill cranes look like? So they've got long legs, don't they? Yes, and a dark bill, and they have chicks. Where do sandhill cranes live? Near the water, don't they? What do they like to eat? Frogs and snakes and insects. What do spoonbills look like? They have a what? They have a bill that looks like a spoon. Why do you think it's helpful to have a bill shaped like a spoon? Maybe it's easier to get food with? I don't know. In what ways are sandhill cranes and spoonbills alike? I noticed they both had long legs and they had longer bills. The bills were different though, because one was a spoon shape where the other was just long and dark. All right, so cranes and spoon bills, how were they similar? Well, they both had long legs, but the difference was their bills and their coloring, right? One was pink where the other was brown. And then the crane's babies were chicks. They were born and they ran around, but the spoonbill babies are born blind and they have to stick around mom and dad until they can see, right? Yes. All right, let's move on. So let's look at worksheet 23.2. So if we look at worksheet 23.2, this is the take home page. It says we've been learning about nouns and verbs. The dot in the word shows that this is a two syllable word. And it says, have your child read the sentence, circle the noun and underline the verb with a squiggly line. Okay, so look at number one, the dog barks. What's the noun? Dog, so you're gonna circle dog and underline the verb, which is barks. All right, so you're gonna do that with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So there are 10 sentences that you need to work on, all right, to turn in. Okay. All right, so I can use adjectives to describe animals from the Green Fern Zoo. We didn't plan on a writing. And I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, cranes and spoonbills. All right, my guys and girls, we are done. I will see you back here tomorrow, my friends. Have a great day.